on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Brian Anderson at the table along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Allie LaForce joins us. Here we are at the final game of the regular season, Grant. For the players, are there some mixed emotions in these situations? Oh, absolutely, B.A. I mean, it's nice to be at the finish line, but you always have some regrets from the season. Everyone thinks their record could have been at least one game or two better. Here are the five for the Lakers. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the small forward position. Uh, D'Lo at that size has great court vision and a great pass. Williamson outside. Now McCollum. James with the rebound. To the paint. And stolen by Williamson. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. Here's Jones. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. And the awareness from Zion, I think that's something with playing time, with his maturity, it's going to continue to improve. Now a really good passer at his position. Pass to James. Davis with a screen on Williamson. The fadeaway. Shot's good by James. James has got five. Pretty old school that time. Mid-range work from LeBron. McCullum against Russell. McCullum, the pass to Valanchunas. Here's McCullum. Williamson, right side. Six to shoot. Hachimura with the defensive effort. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Davis with a screen on Jones. Here's Reeves. James, outside. There's the drive. And slam dunk by James. With a burst of speed, LeBron turning on the Jets, getting past the D, and the big hammer. James against Williamson. Pass to Valentunas. Now McCullum. Wing shot on the way. Valentunas. The second chance points on the tip in. Well, the effort and the power that Valentunas can play with puts him in great position to grab rebounds like that. James outside. Russell against McCullum. Russell to pass to Reeves. And there's the drive. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for New Orleans. Trailing by five. Fresh off a win against the Warriors. They were so consistent from the three-point range in that one. And that's a nice weapon to have as a visiting team. And yeah, the interesting part was they kept firing away in that game, but the defense didn't make much of an adjustment. Williamson for three. The shot misses. Some solid defense from James. Hey, it's James slamming it down. Uh, sometimes LeBron just likes to take it all out on the rim. That time on display. On the AT&T 5G slam cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. And Brent, for the Pelicans, it seems like it's a matter of time before Willie Green's group puts it all together. Now they certainly have the pieces, and on paper, B.A., they are very, very scary. It's a young and talented core, and there's no reason that these guys should not be moving up in the Western Conference standings. Outside Davis. Pass to Reeves. From deep. And the three-pointer goes. Reeves has got five points. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. There's McCullough with the three. LeBron with the rebound. Man, you get so caught up in the bravado of someone scoring on you and you wanting to even the score. Unfortunately, he couldn't answer back. Back to Russell. And the shot goes. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. The Pelicans have gone only two of six from the field. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. 
McCollum taking his time here. Up and over, Russell. Shot's good by McCollum. Well, he knows how to get the shot off at any time on that pick and roll. Natural instincts taking over. And the experience helping McCollum as well. Hachimura, right side. Pass to Davis. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Both sides going at it. Classic good offense, first good defense. Picked by Williamson. The floater. And the layup good by McCollum. McCollum's gotten his second bucket of the game. While making the floater look effortless, McCollum has the body control and touch to drop that kind of shot in consistently. James, a screen on McCollum. Hachimura, left side. No good with the triple. The Pelicans have gone 4 of 10, shooting the rock in this first quarter. Pass to McCollum. Now here's Valanchunas. Williamson inside, guarded by Russell. Second chance shot. Outside Jones. Here's the three. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. You want Jones to be assertive like this. If the three-point shot's there, got to take it. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. And let's see which point guards have been locked in from the foul line this past month. C.J. McCollum on top. D'Angelo Russell third. This is just one of the things you want out of your point guard. Reliability at the charity strike. When you look back at the NBA's free throw percentage leaders over the years, and so many of them have played the point guard position, mostly because they do a great job of penetrating, getting into the lane, and consistently draw fouls. So the more you take, the more you make. McCullough, the pass to Jones. Now here's Valanciunas. Ten points in his last outing. Shoots over Davis. Can't cash in the ten-footer. Here's Reeves, defended by Jones. Back to Reeves. Pass to Russell. James, a screen on McCullum. Five to shoot. Here's Russell. Jump shot is good that time. And the Lakers lead by seven. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. McCullum with it. He played a great game against Golden State. Beyond the arc. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Man, he's got that touch working tonight, shooting the ball very well to start this one. Russell against McCullum. Tries the spin move. Oh, they get a hand on it. Davis, the pass to Reeves. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got three assists now in this one. And so McCullum will bring it up for the Pelicans. Eight-point game. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on C.J. McCullum. That's his first foul of the game. And great job to establish position and square up. Marshall, he's checked in for New Orleans. Los Angeles has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Outside Davis. James, outside. Back to Davis. Over Valanchunas. Davis misses. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Here's McCollum. Yes, it's good. McCollum's got six points. Lots of ways that CJ can burn you right there. Super effective on the inside. And you look at what CJ McCollum brings to the table. A skilled marksman and a calming presence in the locker room. Well, what do you expect from the president of the Players Association? He's got to be regal. He's got to be refined. And he's super polished on and off the floor. Is Davis competing in the All-Star Slam Dunk Contest? I give him a 48. Hachimura with a rebound. Hachimura's got his fourth rebound in this one. Inside. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. I like watching AD going at the defense and trying to impose some of that physicality from him to them. He's off on the first. Two shots. 
And he's good on the second. New Orleans has gone one of four from deep. Alvarado outside. Pass to Hawkins. Let's the three fly. That's good. And it's McCullum with the assist. I know CJ plays the two guard position alongside Lillard, but he does have point guard vision, and that's a great find. Russell, that's good. Here's McCullum. He has six. Vincent checked in for Los Angeles. First team foul. Coming to the floor for the Lakers. Number seven, Gabe Vincent. Marshall passes to Alvarado. Here's Marshall. Fires the three. Hachimura with a rebound. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to Vincent. Outside Davis. Back to Vincent. And he lobs it up. It's stolen by Nance. Here's McCollum. Oh, what a play. Just palms the block. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. It's good. You know you're doing something right when you find yourself up double digits in the first period. Well, dominant so far. That's the responsibility of the starters. Now let's see if everybody else who plays in this game makes the same kind of high-level contributions. Alvarado outside. And here's McCollum. You know, his impact on offense has been terrific. Scoring just around 20 points a game. CJ just so smooth and is a marksman from three. James outside. Floats one up. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Pass to Hawkins. Nance with a screen on Davis. Back to Alvarado. Shot clock at six. And that one is hammered home! Flying in with the one-hand slam. That right there was a statement finish. Los Angeles has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. James, outside. Back to Vincent. Pass to Davis. Oh, stolen by Nance. Marshall inside. James is there. Marshall with the bucket. And now just a five-point Los Angeles lead. The Lakers with the ball. James outside. Oh, he airballs the triple. That one was way off. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Hawkins, the pass to McCollum. Driving to the basket. McCollum draws the double. It doesn't go for him. Here's Vincent. Alvarado defending. Pass to Achimura. Fires in the triple. And the Lakers lead by eight. Rui working on that hand speed. Excellent. And so it's Los Angeles finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. A three points is better than two. They built this lead by tacking on that extra point at the end of possessions. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been thus far. I love the passing that they displayed at the start of the game. Great ball movement that's opening up some chances without really getting deep into the execution. Najee Marshall is out there with Zion Williamson. Then there's Jose Alvarado. Then it's Larry Nance. And it's Hawkins in at the two. That's the Pelicans five as we get into the second quarter. Friends. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Here's Marshall. Nance with a screen on Achimura. Here's Marshall. The shot off that time. Some solid defense from Hayes. Well, Brent, if you
you could pick one current player to coach your team, who would it be? B.A., it's a really, really difficult question, but given the success of this player, what he's done on the floor, and what he continues to show himself to be off the floor, I got to pick Steph Curry. And the inspiration that he has just provided, not only the Bay Area, the Golden State Warriors, but revolutionizing the game and the way it's played, he has given everybody the thought of the possibility of that kind of perfection as a shooter. And that's something that I've always taken a lot of pride in as a player. Steph's my guy. The teardrop. Nice shot by Christie. More and more signs of the skill set of Torian Prince as he finds an open teammate. The Pelicans have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Williamson outside. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Hawkins, the pass to Nance. Oh, he misses the dunk. Los Angeles has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Here's Christie. Let's a floater go. Williams grabs the board. And he's going for the lob. And Nance with the slam. Now this is a nice connection with Larry Nance Jr. Throw it his way. He'll take care of the rest. Here's Vincent. No point so far. With the floater. They retain possession. Six on the shot clock. And the basket by Achimura. And the Lakers lead by seven. And Hachimura is such a skilled four-slash-three man, good at using his size to take advantage there. That's the screen. Here's Hawkins. He got a piece of it. All right, let's get a report from Ali. C.J. McCollum sometimes gets overlooked, but he said, quote, I just do my job. It's about team success. I'm going to be more efficient and more consistent. I'm going to make plays, make shots, and try to help us win. Brian? He's a great team leader, has a great perspective on his place in the game. Thanks, Allie. Prince against Williamson. Finally gets one to go. That makes him one for five in this game. And some pinball action out there as defenders just bouncing off of Williamson on that play. Vincent passes to Achimura. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Here's Vincent. Pass to Hayes. Back to Vincent. Puts up a three. And another three for the Lakers. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Here's Hawkins. This one for three. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. This quarter, they're doing some real damage from outside the arc, trying to stay within striking distance here. Hachimura outside. Here's Hayes. Rebounded by New Orleans. The Lakers beat them last time when these two met in Los Angeles. And they want to avoid getting in foul trouble again. That's what really hurt them against this team last time. And that led to a few of their key guys spending long stretches of the game on the bench because of foul trouble. Hard to find yourself back in a rhythm when you do that. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Hachimura outside. Oh, stolen by Dance. Pass to Marshall. Hachimura with the defensive effort. Los Angeles has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. And Larry Nance Jr. is an impressive player, mainly because of his all-around game. Yeah, there's a lot of things that he picks up, B.A. He picks up a few scores around the basket. He'll grab a couple of dirty rebounds, and he defends well. Speaking of defense, he'll guard a couple of positions, so a very versatile forward. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. The Pelicans trail. Pass to Hawkins. Williamson with it. Go 
goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Zion's a big guy. It'll take more than that to deter him from that shot. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. So both teams making some changes here. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Trey Murphy. And he's been locked in at the free throw line for sure. In the past five games, his percentage at the line is much better than it had been prior. Sometimes that's how it works. You just get that extra focus at the charity strike. Now Russell. Six points for him. To the inside. Here's Davis. Valanciunas with a rebound. Valanciunas has got his seventh rebound here tonight. McCullum against Russell. Here's Williamson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Personal foul. Zion plays with such force down low. He fights right through. He'll be at the free throw line. And some changes here for the Lakers. James comes in for Prince. And Reeves is subbed in for Christie. The Lakers have gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. James, outside. Here's Davis. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. So I think as fans, you always want to see the best in the league healthy. Anthony Davis out there tonight. And the NBA is just better when AD's playing. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. McCullum outside. Outside Jones. Shot from 12. Valanciunas can't get it to go. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Outside Russell. Plenty of space. Here's Davis. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. And you have to appreciate the heart they've shown on the offensive boards this quarter. Outside Jones. Pass to Williamson. Over James. And the basket by Williamson. Williamson's got eight points. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pin off the cap and putting his mark on this game. And here's James. Here's Reeves. Left side, Davis. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Intelligent play there by Davis. He knows he has the defense on their heels as soon as he gets the ball that close to the rim. New Orleans making some changes. Zellers checked in for Valanchunas, and it's Marshall in for Zion Williamson. A big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Pass to Reeves. The shot's good on the assist by James. Ten points for him. And LeBron's playmaking has always been exceptional. Has no trouble spotting the open man. Now McCollum. Zeller with a screen on Russell. Here's McCollum. The Lakers with a rebound. Davis has got six rebounds now in the game. Davis a screen. And he lobs it up to the rim. Oh, it's stolen by Zeller. Here's the break. Here's Marshall. Banked it in off the glass. Marshall's got five points now in the quarter. That'll definitely steal away some momentum. Stripping them of the ball and then grabbing the bucket. Here's James. Hey, it's James slamming it down. And LeBron continues to self-dial himself. Look at him. He's in a group. For New Orleans, they've gotten 7 of 15 shots here in the second quarter. Jones, the pass to Zeller. McCullum with it. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. And now let's see some real stats, real scores from the real NBA. And find out which players were the top distributors these past 10 games. LeBron James, third. He's making a lot of friends with the way he's been moving the ball, setting up his teammates nicely in their favorite spots. And so it's Russell who brings up the ball for the Lakers. Go, 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 go. 
Davis with a screen on McCollum. Down low. And Davis with the basket on the assist by Russell. Davis has got 11. Boy, absolutely no rim protection leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Time called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Outside tries to break his ice and he comes up with a bucket. 11 points in the game. He's a lethal all around scorer. You have to love the versatility of McCollum's offensive game. Pass to Lewis. Here's Davis, defended by Zeller. Davis can't hit. New Orleans has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Marshall passes to McCollum. Over James. Up and in on the layup. And they had early success from the perimeter, but I don't understand how they've gotten away from that here in the second. Here's Reeves. Ten points for him. High post Davis. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got three assists now in this one. To the middle. Here's Jones. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. Nice jam by Jones popping off the floor. James deciding where to go with it. Pass to Reeves. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And they seem to have found a nice groove here in the second period. Now, here is James. He's got 15. The three from Russell. Rebounded by Marshall. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. There's 49 seconds left in the half. Here's Jones. Count the basket. Jones has got four points in the quarter. That's a focus you just can't teach a young guy, Jones, showing he's got that kind of focused demeanor. Out to the right wing. Davis down low, defended by Zeller. And Davis gets it to go. Davis has got 15 points. Yeah, when Davis is on like this, there's really not much you're going to be able to do about it. McCullum outside. 12 seconds left in the first half. Down to five on the shot clock. Lays it up and banks it in. He's got 17. How about CJ's focus on that play? The defense right up in his face, keeps his eyes on target, and buries it. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Lakers ahead, up seven. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. What a game, huh? How would you guys analyze that first half since that's what you're here to do? The only thing Shaq's been analyzing this first half is the buffet table. He hasn't paid attention to this game. How many oatmeal raisin cookies are there? How many chocolate chips? You have all of those stats, I bet. Come on, Kenny, be serious. Nobody eats anything with raisins. It was seven snickerdoodles. Hey, uh, raisins can be okay if, you know, if you just want to... And now coming back to this game, a strong first half for the Lakers. The rebounding numbers tell the story. Watching this team first half, they look like five hungry shacks. Ooh, I'm trying to picture Ernie. Five hungry shacks in one room. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period.
And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. One of the stories here, C.J. McCollum. He's getting it done today. He's been excellent at cutting through the defense and giving them fits around the basket. And you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen. And so in the game for Los Angeles, it's LeBron at power forward with A.D. as the center. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. And it's Lewis in at the three, the small forward. Yeah, so fun to watch him get fancy on any finish. Zion again to the rack. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Down low. And stolen by Williamson. McCollum shot is off. And so it's Russell who brings up the ball for the Lakers. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. There's the three. Pelicans cleared away. Alan Junis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. McCullum outside, and there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That's his first foul of the game. Hachimura has checked in for Lewis. Coming to the floor for the Lakers. Number 28. Second half rolling along. About a minute played here. Jones finds Williamson. Now McCullum. Just five to shoot. Nice move. Williamson with the bucket. Williamson's got 12 points. Surely a finesse shot there. Zion with good hands on the mid range. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. The Lakers in the lead. James inside. He's against Williamson. Hachimura from long range. Knocks down the long J. Ten points for him. Yeah, and this is a tough one to figure out because Rui hitting the three, that makes him really difficult to check. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That's foul number two for him. And both teams running long range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that. Russell deciding where to go with it. Pass to James. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It'll be on Zion Williamson. And getting to the line at will. James using his smarts these days to draw those kind of shooting fouls. Both free throws good from James. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Pass to Valentunas. To the inside. Oh, what a play! It snatched out of the air. Credit the block. James with the ball. And stolen by Williamson. McCullum right side. Valentunas, he's open. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCullum. Valentunas continues to work on that shot. The catch and shoot and a great rhythm there. James, outside. Here's Reeves, defended by Jones. Back to James. And it's James inside. An assertive move by LBJ, just taking what he wants inside. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Williamson against James. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Well, we talk a lot about guys and the obstacles that they overcome. Williamson has faced many setbacks, but still staying committed to the game. For Los Angeles, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Achimura. And here's Davis. No luck on that one. Nice D from Valanchunas. Now here's Williamson. To the paint. And the dunk by Valanchunas. It's not going to be a soft finish when Valanchunas gets it inside. Count on him going up strong. 
James, outside. High post Davis, right at the free throw line. The Pelicans pull it in. Valanciunas has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Williamson with it. 14 points for him. On the take. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Shot is good by Reeves. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. And here's Jones. Nine points in the game. Out to McCollum. James against Williamson. For the tie. They get it back. Here's McCollum. Pass to Valanciunas. From behind the arc. Rebounded by the Lakers. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. James passes to Achimura. James outside. There's the triple. LeBron fires and hits a three. I'm making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, the Pelicans have developed a tremendous chemistry. Coach Willie Green said, quote, all of those guys play the game the right way. They want to be unselfish and make sure their teammates are involved. We're really fortunate as a team that our top guys bring that mentality on a nightly basis. Brian? Yeah, chemistry and leadership. They have it. Thanks, Allie. Great job by Williamson. You know, I love watching him dunk, but man, his block shots are spectacular. There's a screen. Jones from outside. James with the rebound. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. Execution with pace. That's a bad turnover that simply was telegraphed. And the Pelicans making a change here. Marshall's checked in. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Hayes is checked in for Anthony Davis. Prince comes in for James. Christie's checked in for Reeves. And Vincent is subbed in for Russell. Hayes with a screen. Just five on the clock. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. And this break in action gives us a chance to see which teams are getting it done from distance. It's the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. Fifth, New Orleans. Instead of just bombing away, they work hard to create good looks from beyond the arc. And so McCollum will bring it up for the Pelicans. Trailing by two. Pass to Marshall. Outside Jones. Williamson outside. Clock at six. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Stolen by Valanciunas. Here's Christie. Defended by Jones. Christie passes to Achimura. Here's Hayes. Here's Vincent. He shoots. That one no good. The Pelicans have gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Here's McCollum for the tie. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Well, Valanchunas is truly a mountain of a man, so good luck to anybody trying to stop him. That one misses. Los Angeles has gone 2 of 3 from outside so far in the third quarter. Here's Vincent. McCollum defends. Prince against Valanchunas. Back to Vincent. To get back on track. Knocks it down from distance. Vincent's got six points. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. Jones, the pass to McCollum. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Los Angeles has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Pass to Christie. Hachimura outside. 
Hayes, the pass to Christie. Hayes with a screen. Oh, sweet move. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Jones, the pass to Williamson. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Well, that kind of activity down low from Zion is exactly what they're looking for. Here's Vincent. He has six. Pass to Prince. Now Achimura. Fires from the wing. And the Lakers tack on two more. Achimura getting that shot to fall, just rising up over the top of the D. And here is Williamson. And they double up Williamson. Here's Marshall. The three. Henson grabs a miss. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Hayes, the pass to Prince. Here's Christie, defended by Jones. Here's Prince. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Now it's a six point Laker lead. New Orleans has gone just one of six from long distance here in the third. The shots just aren't falling. Williamson into the lane. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Hey, can you imagine a coach saying, hey, get in front of Zion? No thanks. The Lakers have gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Vincent passes to Hayes. Pass to Achimura. Hayes with a screen. Here's the teardrop. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Oh, man, putting points on the board. The defense being tough on Achimura. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Lakers. I mean, they played some beautiful basketball all game. The passing has been impressive, and it's opened up things with their ball movement. And it seemed like throughout this game, right after the jump ball, they've just been feeling it from distance, getting all the looks they want and continuing to take advantage of that three-point line. Here's McCollum. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. McCollum's got 22 points. And I feel like the team right now is accepting the fact that C.J. McCollum is on fire, so they're looking for him on possessions in the half court. Hachimura in the post. Marshall's there. Here's Hayes. Uses the glass on the layup. And the Lakers lead by six. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Here's Hawkins. That three's off the mark. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Pass to Prince. Here's Vincent. McCullum defends. Here's Christie. Takes the three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. 51 seconds left to play in the third. Floats one. Prince with the bucket. Prince has got four points in the quarter. That's a pretty nice touch there from the six foot eight Torian Prince. Pass to Marshall. Back to McCullum. And McCullum slams it in. Incredible. It sometimes falls to the point guard to be the offensive catalyst. Seems like he always knows when his squad needs a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. Here's Vincent. Here's Prince. Looking at his numbers, currently he's averaging around nine points a game. Here's Hachimura. Damn, no good trying to use the glass. Out to the wing. Here's Hawkins. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. No good on the free throw. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And the second free throw is good. Eight seconds left in the third. Here's Vincent. 
It'll count. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so it's Los Angeles leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percent. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Zion Williamson out there with Larry Nance. Then there's Najee Marshall. Then there's C.J. McCollum. And it's Hawkins in at the shooting guard. That's the Pelicans five. Here's Hayes. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Well, if you came here looking for a scoring battle, I think you made the right choice. Now, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Williamson outside. The layup is good. Williamson's got 24 points. And Zion absolutely on fire right now. The D looks helpless. Here's Vincent. Let's it go from deep. That shot is good, Lewis. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. There's a screen by Marshall. Knocks down the triple. McCollum's got 10 points here in the second half. Now the D has done a very poor job at contesting him from outside, guys. He's tearing into them right now, and they cannot stop him. Inside. Count it for Vincent. And the Lakers lead by eight. We can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Up top, McCullum to the middle. Williamson outside. Got it. The moment Williamson gets inside, virtually nothing you can do to stop that lefty. For Los Angeles, they've gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Here's Vincent. Pass to Lewis. Back to Vincent. Here's Prince. Covered by Williamson. Pulls up. High post. Nance pulls down the board. Nance has got four rebounds in the game. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Pass to Christie. Here's Prince. And it's in there. Well, he knows how to score, and he does just that on that play. And here's McCollum. He'll bring it up for the Pelicans. Timeout, timeout. Six-point game. New Orleans calls timeout. Pardon. Some changes for New Orleans. Zellers checked in for Nance. Jones comes in for Marshall. And Alvarado's subbed in for C.J. McCollum. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Davis, he's checked in for Hayes. LeBron comes in for Prince. Reeves is checked in for Christie. And Russell is subbed in for Vincent. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Willie Green coaching his team during that last break. And a big reason their team is down, the three-point line. Coach saying in the huddle, we have to battle on the perimeter. They're outplaying us from the arc. Guys? Okay, thank you, Allie. The Pelicans have gotten off to a perfect 5-for-5 five five so far in the fourth. A nice shot by Hawkins. Did you see that? I mean, going right to the rim, that's how you finish in the open floor. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over.
Lakers making a switch here. Hachimura's checked in. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Here's James. Physical play by LeBron inside. Plays like that show you the strength of LeBron. Could have been called for a foul, but LeBron still finishes through the contact. Here's Zeller. Rejected by James. Outside Russell. To the inside. Come to me, come to me. Pass to Reeves. Zeller against Davis. Soft touch off the glass. Now it's a six-point Laker lead. In a league of guys who are extremely long, AD still stands out. Stolen by Davis. And here they come. Here's James. And it's James with the jam. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Here's Russell. Pass to Reeves. Another shot. And it's Hawkins with a rebound. The Pelicans have gotten six of eight shots to fall during this fourth. Who oh, wasted no time on that one. Williamson's got six here in the quarter. And he just keeps finding shots. So much confidence on display. James, outside. Here comes the... Wow! LeBron making some noise! Forget about stopping LeBron when he's on the dribble coming at you with that kind of momentum. For New Orleans, they've gotten seven of nine from the floor in this fourth. Pass to Hawkins. The Lakers with a rebound. Davis has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. That's foul number two for him. Some changes for New Orleans. Jonas Valanciunas comes in for Zeller. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Alvarado. Reeves, the pass to James. Down low. Here's Hachimura. Outside for Russell. Clock is at three. Sinks it from distance. And the Lakers lead by 11. Well, Hachimura not known as a playmaker, but unselfish play. That is part of his game. Picked by Williamson. McCollum against Russell. Here's Williamson. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Davis has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Pass to Reeves. Now, here is James. Back to Reeves. He can't get it to go. Jones with some nice D. And the Pelicans shooting it with confidence. 54% so far. Yep, that one's good. Williamson's got eight points in the quarter. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Here's James. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's his first foul. You have to credit the defense. Adjusts his feet, takes the hit, and gets the call. And so it's Valanciunas who brings up the ball for the Pelicans. They trail by nine. Williamson with a screen on Russell. McCullum outside. He shoots it. That's good from Williamson on the assist by McCollum. Williamson's got 32 points in the game. James against Williamson. James passes to Reeves. With the teardrop. Ooh, he's now 7 for 12. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Here's Williamson. Oh, Williamson throws it down. And Zion absolutely rocking the rim. Los Angeles has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. 
James against Williamson. Outside for Russell. From downtown. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got six assists now in the game. McCullum outside. Pass to Williamson. Rejected by James. That anticipation off the charts. Great job by LeBron to deny that one. Three-pointer. Gets the three ball to go. James has got nine points now in the quarter. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Over to the wing. Williamson inside. Check by James. Offensive board. Here's Valanciunas. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. Not sure which clips they watched at halftime, but he has figured out how to attack the D, and they kept him in check in the first half. He's flipped it. Here's Davis. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Jones has got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to McCullum. From the arc. Drains the triple. McCollum's got 15 points here in the second half. He has been an absolute wrecking ball from outside during this half, guys. Williamson against James. Left side, Davis. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one on Murphy. First one falls for him. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. They still have time to make this a game. But they really need to focus timeout, timeout. in because they let this game get away from them a little bit. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. McCullum outside. Jacks up a three. And another three for New Orleans. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Stolen by Valanciunas. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. Oh, and the big finish by Williamson. Well, Zion wants these moments and coming through here. Los Angeles has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Russell. James outside. Oh, LeBron hammers it home. Getting up and then throwing it down. Oh, that was a big hammer right there. Just thinking about it, every year the physical and mental toughness of LeBron just gets more and more impressive, maintaining his spot at the top of his game. McCullum, pass to Valanciunas. Excellent D there from Davis. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the end one, and this time they're not backing off. Shot is good by Reeves. Well, point forward, point guard, point center. I don't, I don't care really where he is. LeBron James just ahead of the curve. Here's McCollum. Williamson for three. Rebound, the Lakers. On the wing, Davis. Here's the floater. And the layup is up and in. And the Lakers lead by 13. Well, with a comeback out of range, we can put a bow on this one. Good performance for the Lakers. And they were on fire tonight. Fantastic offensive performance, Grant. Yeah, B.A., they really shot the ball well. I mean, their coach has to be beyond thrilled with how well they play. And they're going to win this one, making this their 47th victory so far. And for the year, this will be the third win in four games against this team. They really brought it tonight. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for LeBron James.
Yeah, it felt like there was more than one of him out there tonight. He was involved on every possession, and he made his presence felt in so many ways. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. And they have to know that any hope of a comeback is gone. Well, realistic at this stage of the game, they're going to lose this one, but will they take something from the loss? Nails it from beyond the arc. McCollum's got 41. And his perimeter shooting might be the key to trimming their deficit. Well, he's doing everything he can to make them competitive. And by everything, I mean draining threes. Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? No coverage that time. Look, every time Murphy can get a look, he'll take the look. Trust me. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Better personal foul. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's an eight-point ball game. Timeout called. The Pelicans, they're trailing by eight. Just four seconds left in the final quarter. And the Pelicans with possession here. Shots good by McCollum. Oh, man, the DNA test comes back, and there is a clutch gene. McCollum with the confidence to deliver. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They're leading by five. Only two seconds left in the fourth quarter. So we see the Lakers get the win here. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them. They had to dig deep to come out on top. Yeah, you know, some teams might buckle under the pressure towards the end. The crowd was so amped up, such a hostile environment. But they stood tall and got the win. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Anthony, the chemistry between you and LeBron, how much of that is your skill set versus your connection as teammates? Um, we both respect each other. We know what we both can do on the floor on both ends. And when we get out and run and we run into our pick and roll, um, it's hard to guard. You know, he's able to shoot the ball and they go under. Um, he's a monster attacking the basket. You know, anytime we're able to, to get into that action, it's unguardable. It's unguardable. A combo anyone would love to have. Thanks, AD. All right, Allie, thank you. That's it, folks. The NBA regular season is in the books. For Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. Now our new balance player of the game, LeBron James.